So in this video, we're going to be going through examples like this, where we have to perform uh, two actions. So um, we're going to have adding and subtracting, and also uh, a multiplication division. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. 2x plus 1 is equal to 5. Now, um, there is an order of operation here that you need to be careful with. Okay, so when you are dealing with evaluating uh, an expression of numbers, um, we use bid mass or bod mass. Okay, to decide on the order in which you deal with those numbers. Okay, when you are solving an equation, you are unraveling. Okay, so you're always doing the opposite to what the equation is actually saying. So if it says we are multiplying by two, the process, the step is to divide by two. If it says plus 1, we're going to subtract 1. If it says take away 5, we're going to add 5. If it says multiply by 4, we're going to divide by 4. Okay? But, should we subtract 1 first, or divide by 2 first? Okay? Now, bod mass, or bid mass, as I said, tells you how to evaluate numbers, but now you are trying to unravel it, you are essentially using bid mass backwards to unravel an equation, to solve it. Okay? So to find the missing value, to find the x value, essentially you are having to do the opposite process. So bid mass would tell you that we need to do multiplications first and then additions or uh, multiplications and then subtractions or divisions and then addition uh, sorry divisions and then additions or divisions and then subtractions but either way with bid mass the multiplication and division is given preference over addition subtractions okay we deal with these first then we deal with those when you're unraveling an equation, it's the opposite way around. Deal with the additions and subtractions first, and then deal with the multiplications and divisions. Okay? Um, it is a very good rule of thumb. Okay? So, with number 1, 2x plus 1 equals 5, we, in order to isolate the x, to get the x by itself, We've got to deal with both the plus 1 and the multiply by 2. So we're going to deal with the addition first, the plus 1. And in order to get rid of that, I need to subtract 1 from both sides. So the left-hand side becomes 2x. The right-hand side becomes 4. 5 take away 1 is 4. Now we're at this stage, we deal with the multiplication. We're multiplying x by 2, so we divide both sides by 2. 2x divided by 2 is x, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, so we deal with the addition subtraction first, then the multiplication division. So number 2, we have 3x take away 5 is 7, so we have this subtract 5 there. Okay, deal with that first. So we need to add 5 to both sides. So the left hand side becomes just 3x, the right hand side 7 plus 5 is 12. Now we have 3x equals 12, so we're multiplying by 3, so we need to divide by 3. 3x divided by 3 is x, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Right, question number 3. We have 8 equals 4x plus 6. The x is on the right hand side now. Now, um, before we go through this example, swapping the equation round to make 4x plus 6 is equal to 8. So swapping those places is perfectly fine. I've always done that at that last stage, but if you prefer, just do it at the first stage. There's nothing stopping you from writing it that way around right from the outset and solving the equation like normal. 
it's perfectly fine to do that. So let's run with that. We've got adding 6, so we need to subtract 6 from both sides. So the left-hand side becomes 4x. 8 take away 6 is 2. Now we need to divide both sides by 4. So, I have to write it here. x is equal to 2 gets divided by 4. So 2 quarters, but we can simplify that fraction. Divide top and bottom by 2. So x is 1 half. Now, with number 4, 9 equals 6x take away 5. Again, we can reorder it right away. Okay, nothing wrong with doing that. We have this subtract 5. So to get rid of that, I need to add 5 to both sides. So 6x take away 5 becomes 6x when I add 5. 9 plus 5 is 14. 6x equals 14. So I'm multiplying by 6, so I'm going to have to divide both sides by 6. x is going to be 14 over 6. Now, top and bottom of that fraction are even, so I know I can divide top and bottom by 2, and that gets me 7 thirds. And so the answer to number 4 is 7 thirds.